Hello, this is James Smith at GANanalysis.net. Today I want to show you the sterling on a weekly time frame. We start from this high back here in October of 2007. And we're using a scale of 0 .001 points per week for the one by one. Even if you were drawing a trend line, you'd probably come up with something similar. But the advantage here, it's sort of like taking big round numbers. Uh, if you imagine, uh, if this were a stock, you'd probably go one point per day or one point per week. In the currency markets, you have to use something smaller, so 0 .001. Think of it, you're just moving the decimal place, but you're still maintaining the concept of picking something that's sort of a round number. So you don't, I mean, ideally, you don't want to take a fraction like 0.001543. You want to take 0 .001 or 0 .002, something like that. Um, and it turns out it captures this high here pretty nicely. So that's why I chose that scale for sterling. And you can see you sort of popped above it here, came back. But you're definitely trying to break out again. We're close to 127 here now, uh, 126 and change. Uh, the idea is if you close nicely above this, you're probably going to go higher. So that's a simple idea there. Same idea of a trend line, a breakout, you get a rally. The other thing you might notice, um, what I've done here, in, in addition to the one by one down, we're using what I would call a three by one up, 0 .003, that would be a three by one line. Um, so that see, captures this slope pretty nicely, and when you break it, boom, you go down. Again, when you break it, you go down. So whether you're bullish or bearish on sterling, you have a, an objective way to confirm which way you should be trading this. If you break out above 127, you go higher. If you break below 124 area, 124.455, um, that would indicate you're probably going to go lower. So you can see it offered support here. And um, for the same reason that you got a big sell-off here, you probably get a big sell-off here if you close, say, below 124 area. So I would go with either of those two trades. Um, nothing's ever going to be perfect because you can see here you broke out above this and you came right back down. So... There's no such thing as a risk-free trade. You can always be wrong. You're going to have to place a stop loss uh, either side in order to protect yourself once you take the trade. Whether you're bullish on sterling or bearish, either way, you're going to have to have a stop loss. Just keep that in mind. Now, the other thing I would note here, if you're a little bit hesitant because you've seen a false breakout here, you could also wait for a close above the... Uh, the 2 eighths retracement, if this is the high and this is the low, here's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths would be 50% retracement up here. But if you close above the 2 eighths retracement, you'll probably go to the 3 eighths retracement. And I like this number, 144. That's a big GAN number. So that would be a great target. And you can see here it was a former high. Uh, we almost got up to it here, but where the uh, the one by one stopped us. So I think if you get above 130.094, this 2 eighths retracement, you'll probably go to 144. So that's where I would leave it. I just think that if you want to be objective, allow the market to tell you what it wants to do. If you get above 127, you'll probably go up here. If you get above this level, you'll probably go up here. And if you break back below uh, 124 area, you're probably going down. So there's a trade either way. All you have to do is let the market tell you what it's going to do next. Um, and, and try not to get too caught up in your view. Um, that's the advantage of technical analysis in general, and, and GAN in particular, that you're allowing the market to dictate which way you're going to trade it. So... If you find this interesting, register to the website. You get a few free reports. And if you like it, you can think about signing up for a three-month trial subscription to, to see this market 
as well as a whole range of markets, stocks, bonds, forex, commodities, and crypto. We have interesting things to say about crypto right now, as well as the S&P. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff and a few markets that I don't want to give too much away. There are a few key markets right now, and I'm not talking the S&P, but there are a few key markets that are showing big, big turns from a GAM perspective. One of them has the square of the high completion. Um, very big turn, very big turn. And if you're a client, you get access to that, and it's going to rock your world because it, it will change, it will affect the financial markets in a huge way. But I'm not going to leave that for clients because it is really that important. Good luck in your trading. Register to the website. Check it out. If you're interested in GAN, give it a try for uh, three months and see what you think.